All right, let's go take off right here. Beautiful, just like that. Everybody, welcome to this beautiful airport here, which is called London City. We're just in the middle of London City, hence the name. And while I can't wait to be visiting this airport very soon on the channel to explore what it's like to have a runway that is inside of a major city. For example, our Cirrus Vision Jet is uh, definitely not allowed to fly here, as you can only fly into this airport with a plane that's twin engine, because if one engine fails, you don't want to end up in the Thames River. Everybody, the question though is, well, is London City really in the middle of the city? I mean, from this airport taking the Elizabeth line, it still takes an hour to get to the Chard to Tower Bridge. You know, the places you'd actually want to be and not like in East London somewhere. Everybody to the point where it's like, you know, you can almost fly to London Heathrow and you'll be having the same traveling. N not really. But everybody, I went on a mission to solve this problem. Can you see this, everybody? And runway. Everybody, here is what's like probably the older banking district of London with relatively medium high high rise towers that I put a runway on top of. Yes, using three buildings, which is the HSBC building and some other building and a third building that I don't know the name of. I was like, all right, we can create a surface on top of that. We just need to put something there. And, you know, we have some sort of a ramp system, which creates a, you know, sloped runway so that we can actually stop quickly and take off quickly using the slope. You know, we airports like Courchevel have used it for years. Everybody, we shall fly into our airport now. That is built on these semi-stable stills. Yes, everybody, look at this beautiful modeling. I've become ingenious. And now we have a 400 meter long runway that is literally in London. All right, not really. I mean, the chart is there. But whatever, let's go ahead and land. This is a big city. Uh, all right, I, I, th I thought this would be actually a little... Oh my God, that's quite slow. Oh. oh no! Everybody, my experiment has gone wrong. Ready? I present to you the airport of unnamed entity. Yes, I haven't named the airport correctly. Let's go ahead and see if we can take off. I guess that should work a bit better. Actually, the slope is very impressive. All right, let's do this. We are a very tall airport. We can see this. We can spot from here towards London City. Oh, my. All right. Maybe I didn't do a good job at planning the actual slope we have here. This is practically like a ramp. There we go. Yes. Mm. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really need to put that... Slope a little bit less slopey. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, just make it a bit bigger here. This whole thing taller. All right, this looks a little bit more like it. Check this out. The slope is quite good, but you know, not too much. This will not hurt any airliners. Am I right? Everybody, yes. And we shall test this now with not an airliner. This is a private jet, but I reckon our airport would be uh, only for the uh, the rich. You know, I would make the landing fees quite high if I were HSBC. I mean, they could insure the whole thing and. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and get some flaps down. This, by the way, the butter machine machine. Um, forget about it. Oh, it's quite bumpy. There we go. We can take off, I'm pretty sure, into the skies of London. Genuinely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. And there we go. A takeoff has been out. Scheiße. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not quite sure. I'm not a static engineer of building. Not quite sure how they would um, hold up, you know, our construction uh, material, but I might land this airplane here. Now, this would make hard landings, I'm pretty sure. Oh, please stop. Lord Jesus Christ, yes! Everybody, on the first try, on the first attempt ever, landing at our airport with a Cessna Citation X, it's been absolutely possible. We even have, you know, space for maybe even a hangar or something. Or perhaps also um, a maintenance center. I guess that wouldn't be bad. A landing or, or actually, uh, the whole airplane will have to, like, this is absolutely crash and realize we would have all been dead. Good thing is we could be insured by HSBC. All right, then. So I've now done a little bit of work to perfect our airport. Hey, you can see a hangar that uh, doesn't actually fit an airliner. It also seems to be open in the inside, but from the outside, it definitely isn't open. Don't know how that happened. Anyway, everybody, 
We are on a Ryanair 737. Yes, perhaps. You could make this at least sort of um, airliner friendly, this airport. Let's go ahead and put those spoilers down. Get those uh, flaps down as well. And perhaps we'll be able to take off just fine. Come on there. 45. There you go. Beautiful. Like that. Full power. Now down the slope. We don't want to be too fast because we don't want to break our nose. Everybody, there you go. Yes, perfect. All right, now we've been sent off into the into the skies. We need to get rid of. Oh my goodness! Not only is this just an insanely brilliant and exceptional design. I mean, this could also act as a terminal building. If you were a passenger at our new airport, you would enter the HSBC building, go up the elevator, go up our airport, enter our hangar, which is translucent from the inside, so you can actually have a nice view of London City Airport, the actually good airport. <laughs> take a look, and we can now take off beautifully with our 737 here. This is Ryanair. I guess this is a quick way to go on holiday, isn't it? Come on, let's go take off. Looking great. Oh, gee. All right, let's not break our nose. All right. Good. We are at 80 knots, which is... Not enough! God damn it! Why don't our airport concepts never work? Oh! Well, if you were to get rid of this building right here and this river and... God damn it. Why do all these planes suck? Come on, 737. You can do it. Maybe do a landing here. Absolutely fine. Now, I do wonder how you could somehow, uh, you know, implement uh, an instrument landing system here. You can maybe do an auto land. Maybe I should have made the runway a bit longer. That could also make... Oh! All right. As it turns out, the surface is just not long enough. Beautiful. There's no way! Alright, come on. This is now interesting. Yes, we are 700 feet above ground, but we're about to land. The magic of our special airport indeed, huh? Come on now. Everybody, that didn't take like a thousand attempts now, everybody. I've created accidentally the hardest airport to land at ever. It's genuinely impossible. But everybody, now we have done it. It's just genuinely very hard. I mean, you can see that even the slightest slope is so hard to, to use. I mean, this runway is shorter than we have at Courchevel. Yes, of course. I mean, you do underestimate the size of, you know, how big airports are and how big uh, city centers are. Take a look at this. Uh, I don't even want to try any other airliner. All right, let's try. Let's try a 74. But an old 74. This is the Felix 7472. We shall, uh, you know what? The hangar was actually not the smartest idea of this. Let me see how, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, oh no, and I'll crash into the HSBC building. God damn it. All right, let's go take off now. We are inside of the hangar. This is uh, not one of the most brilliant of ideas. I could have expected that, actually. Let's go take off here with our jumbo. It doesn't really matter what we do. Let's put the flaps down all the way. I mean, it's kind of hopeless anyway, right? See, it's... Oh, the frames per second is actually hurting my brain as well. Jesus Christ. All right, there we go. We can see in slow motion. Our 747 now is leaving the ramp. Let's maybe see if it's got enough power. And it doesn't. Hey, that was expected. We've died. Everybody, from the start, we should have just, you know, chosen small planes, small airliners. This is... Uh, 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 uh. Forgot the name. It's Fairchild something. Uh, isn't that a British plane? Let's go ahead and take off there. There we go. That is just fine. This airplane is a stall airplane. So, stall airplanes don't have any issues flying at this airport whatsoever. There we go. We've done it beautifully. You know, you know, all the jet airliner ideas, they don't work here. I guess uh, HSBC is just better off having a helipad on their, uh, on the roof, you know. 
that would actually work a little better. London is actually kind of well off having, you know, quite a big airport pretty much in the middle of the city. While it isn't in the city center, it doesn't take long at all to get to it. And of course, people wanted clothes because of all the noise and stuff. I don't care. I like it. Let's go ahead and land one last time on our special city city airport. There will definitely be certification nightmare in real life. Never will work out. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was an absolutely beautiful. There you go. And we can now directly taxi into the hangar. Look at that. And we can unload the passengers. Oh, 